Hello everyone, so welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to create another AI site. So uh, we will be publishing these 250 articles. Uh, so to be exact, it's around 200, uh, as you can see, 237 articles. We will be publishing today, n right now, because we have this uh, brand new domain. Uh, the domain is called Green Smart Soil. So we will be doing a soil niche um, this week. This one will be a soil niche. So we have here uh, extracted uh, 250 keywords that we will be publishing, you know, everything now. Uh, okay, I'll show you the strategy that I use in order to find keywords for my niche and make sure that the selected keywords that I'll be putting as topics won't have any duplicates from one another. So let's say my niche is about indoor plants. And we click on search right here and then I'll click this keyword ID, yes. And then I'll just grab one keyword right here uh, to take a look at the websites that are ranking for the particular keyword that I'm selecting. So for example, these best indoor plants, scroll down right here. So take a look at the niche website, select a niche website, okay? Or uh, do not select the Home Depot because those are generic and you can find, you know, other products right there. So select something that's, uh, you know, very related to the uh, niche you are trying to get keywords. For example, this gardendesign.com. Um, SavvyGardening.com so we can use those two. So let's take a look at this first one GardenDesign.com copy that website and then go to a uh, site explorer paste the website right there so you can see it's ranking for 223,000 keywords so grab that and here you'll see the different kind of keywords related to plants but our niche is about uh, you know indoor indoor plants so what we do right here is uh, use this filter so we type in indoor plant, okay? So we want only those keywords uh, with indoor plant, right? And then word count, at least three, okay? Now show results. And here you will see different kind of, you know, keywords related to your niche. So look at that for an indoor plant, bought us indoor plant, really good, you know, um, niche right there. A bunch of keywords we can use for our niche. and. Uh, what's good about this is they're going to different takes. Here we can make sure that our keywords are quite unique. But before we confirm that, we will export this, export them. All right. Once it's exported, open, open that uh, you know particular CSV file, copy them, go to a blank Google sheet, paste all the keywords right there, and here remove all those unnecessary columns so here i'll just leave the volume keyword and current url i'll remove all the others remove them once it's removed so we will sort by volume hi yes will be on the top so enable the filter okay make sure you sort z to a for volume so as you can see how yes will be at the top of the list and then here once you sort that click this data data cleanup remove duplicates okay so click the click this data has header row so you will see the column names and select them and just select this current url okay remove duplicates okay so as you can see we've got 69 unique rows so that means this you know 69 keywords are you know unique from each other because they're going to different pages so if you see right here bird of paradise indoor plant indoor plant soil indoor plant bugs so you know you will see a duplicate but very very rare so you can also do your manual you know uh, review but that's a quick way on you know make sure making sure that the topics that you are going to put in your new niche or new website are unique from each other okay like just like what i showed you in the previous video where we used to publish bug articles if our website is brand new and no no page is indexed on google so it's totally you know empty so as you can see this one to check the site site uh colon green smart soil.com so it hasn't been indexed on google so at uh, that time we will be able to publish all these 250 articles so just to give you some overview of the websites we made um like in the past two months so we have here the narcissist insights which are now which is now getting uh five to ten clicks a day so as you can see this is the narcissist uh niche that we created we also published this uh, around 300 articles 400 articles in one go and we have this good luck spell which you know we have around uh, uh same thing uh 200 plus articles so it's getting good impressions now in google and getting 
10 to 15 clicks a day and we have this uh, expired domain that we rebuild this kitchen's bible as you can see we got a nice featured image right there and we have this german site okay which is getting good impressions too and some clicks so um what i did in uh this german site i didn't publish uh, all the articles in one go which was my mistake because this is a brand new site when i created this so i should have published all the uh, 300 articles so uh you know it will be getting good impressions by now but this one i i use the auto post scheduler to post three articles per day but that's fine anyway this is our experiment and here uh another expired domain that we rebuilt the best wallet for you dot com and our and the last one the first uh you know uh ai article website that we built uh like eight months ten months ago so yeah getting around 20 25 clicks a day so those are the updates of our you know ai websites now we are ready to you know um you know uh, load this 250 articles so as you can see here we have a brand new installation of uh wordpress and now um what we're gonna do of course if you are new in this channel we install our you know uh, fundamental plugins so first uh, we should install the wp res api because we will be publishing bulk ar articles so we will need this uh, plugin because we will be using um this one article ai generator you know which can easily post your generated articles straight to your wordpress website so this one i uh, just installed this plugin by mini orange so activate that uh, configure it so very easy to configure we have just we just two to three clicks so here click this one make sure it's thick if it's not thick yeah even if it's thick just click this select username and password and then click next and then click finish that's it it's all configured you can repeat repeat that to make sure so again click this username and password next and then finish so that's it that's how easy to configure this wp rest api and of course very important we add our user so we can easily post to um from article ai generator to this brand new website we add make sure you add editor role okay editor role now once we have our user right here um what we're gonna do is uh test if we are able to post an article so go back to your uh you know um keyword list so let's try the first one so mark that as uh you know complete go to article AI generator this time we just generate a single article just to see whether the WP rest API configuration is correct now here of course we will directly uh, generate featured image so it will save our time and our new blog will look like this it's very attractive when it has the featured AI featured image so we will do that and now of course post directly to website uh, and we will have it as published so if your website is not yet here so just add that and once it is added uh, you just select your website right there and it will auto populate the user and password so let's generate the single article first to see whether uh, WP REST API is correctly configured so let's wait for some time so as you can see uh, the generation has been completed and uh, there is a post ID so that means uh, this post is now on our new WordPress website so if we go to the post so you will see uh, right there it's uh, automatically posted so we just remove this uh, you know default post made by WordPress for new installation so here we have our new uh, post so uh, very important when you are installing a new WordPress make sure in permalinks you set this as post name and then save changes now uh, let's see how the how our first post look like so as you can see we've got this beautiful uh you know featured image and the post right there okay we've got our decent number of words um it's seo optimized and we're ready to generate all the other keywords now going back to our keyword list we will be completing uh all these keywords uh now so that before in the, uh, google index our site we now loaded all these 250 articles and we want the the index okay for new website you can do this bug publishing but if you have an existing post and your website is uh index on google you should do a you know you should use auto post scheduler so for now since it is not indexed so we will do the bind uh, the bug post so we select the we select 20 per batch you can see here so mark them as complete so you won't get confused so here i generate bulk articles and paste that right there of course we want to generate a featured image to save our time post it to wordpress publish and select our site 
and then generate bug articles. So while it is generating, you don't need to wait uh, for those articles uh, being processed. You can again go back to your list, select another uh, 20 keywords right there, control C, and then uh, go to generate bulk articles, same process. Of course, we want featured image. Yes. And yep, select your site and then generate. So we will do uh, the same steps for all these 250 keywords. So for now, uh, let me just uh, show you how it will look like uh, to have the uh, bulk articles. So we go to your article and let's see. Um, so as you can see, they're all being queued and they're all being generated. So it won't take time. So um, in a few minutes, so all these, you know, first, f uh, how many, 60 or 40 articles, 40 articles that we've generated uh, will be on our new website. And I'll show you guys uh, some more configuration to do. So here, uh, let's check if articles started to uh, come in. So as you can see here, uh, some articles have been, you know, posted and they're all published, right? Okay, because we want to, uh, you know, publish this bunch of articles in one go uh, while our website not yet indexed on Google. So uh, what uh, I usually do as, you know, for the new WordPress installation is here in the reading, make sure you have the uh, all posts your latest post as the home page display. And here we want to have all the uh, new posts display on the home page. So when Google index our site, it will Google will see all the you know articles in the home page and it will crawl each of those articles. All right. So save changes. Now here we will install our favorite team, which is uh, Niv. So click this add new team and then just select Niv. So search for Nib and install this one. And then activate that. Okay, so once it is activated, you can go to, uh, you know, uh, the home page to see how it looks like. So as you can see here, uh, it, it it started to, you know, look good. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, the AI featured image really makes this uh, website more attractive. You can see the uh, blog posts that uh, have been generated so far. So here, well, we've got almost all the blog posts uh, being generated. So yeah, it, it's really good now. So we will be doing all, uh, we will be doing the same steps for all these 237. So that time I uploaded this video and you check the website, uh, we, you will see all these, uh, you know, 250 articles loaded in this one. And we will just wait for the result uh, to for Google to pick this, the website and, uh, to, and for us to see some impressions coming in. You go to pages and then uh, just remove this uh, sample uh, page. So put that in trash. So keep that because you will need that later, the uh, privacy policy. And then um, what else uh, we need? So I think uh, that's pretty much it. So what you need to focus on is, you know, um, you know, uh, make sure you uh, play around with the colors of your, you know, website if you have a uh, team color. So for this one, uh, we will just need to change the header color uh, to uh, something uh, green because we are we are in the soil niche niche or gardening so better to match it with green and you know brown let's go to header style and then you can change the background color like that so if you want to have it as green and then uh, you know change the font color of course for green background you, you have to use white so things like that and you click on publish so to apply the you know to apply the changes that you made and yeah, I think uh, this that's pretty much it. So basically uh, why we install Nib is because this is uh, by far the easiest uh, team uh, to configure for me, for new, especially for new WordPress uh, you know, uh, websites. So I think that's it. So the time you check this website, greensmartsoil.com, uh, all those 250 articles will be loaded. And again, we will just wait for Google to pick up the site so hopefully guys you uh you know you you will learn something from uh this one so if we want to, you want to do this type of experiment you can do it but uh at your own risk because we won't know what will be the end result with uh that's about it guys thanks for uh watching